girls, it's Betsy, and now it's all about eyes, my favorite section. Let's start with a product that Schmink is quite noted for, an excellent, excellent product that you cannot do without. I know I can't. It's called Color Lock. It's a nice white consistency, and what does it do, Color Lock? You apply it to your eyes, and what it does is it presents a nice smooth palette, and it prepares the eyes for the eyeshadow and the crease color to, cut, to follow. And it gives a true color. It will give you a true color once you start to place your eyeshadows, put on your eyeshadows. So let's start. Let's see what happens. It looks quite white to start. We dab it on lightly. Always dab, 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 dab. And then we blend. Blend it smoothly onto the eye. It has a really, really creamy consistency. Another schmink characteristic that I love. Look at that. And look at that. It sort of lightens the eye right off the bat. It gives you a nice, nice texture, and it lightens the eye. And you know, sometimes when I put on my makeup, like at 7 in the morning, and I come back at the end of my day and I'm going out for the evening, my eyeshadow has not moved, and that's because of color lock. Very, very important part. Okay, I'm ready to go. Now we move on to our eyeshadows. We start with a lighter color. It's a base color to place all over the eye. Now, here's our number three brush, also an outstanding brush. Notice the shape. It's a half moon, like an arc shape, and it really facilitates applying the powder on the eyeshadow onto your eye. So we dip into our powder on both sides of the brush, and very important feature coming up, tap off the excess. You're going to hear me say it over and over again tap off the excess. And you know what that does? It keeps residue or fallout from landing on your face. So that's what you want to be aware of. Now we start at the edge of the eye of the lash line. We dab or stipple right up to the brow bone. This is a beautiful color actually. This is called silicone, one of my favorite colors. Very neutral, goes with all skin tones. I love it. And then we blend. So look at that. I have nothing accumulating under the eye. Very smooth. Beautiful, beautiful light color. Nice. Try the other side. So once again, both sides of your brush. I love this brush. Both sides of your brush. Tap off that excess. You can even see it sort of flinging into the air. Apply close to the lash line. Dab, dab, dab. And you know, you can see the color lock. Everything it is just adhering to it. I can actually see it as I'm doing it. Apply it right up to the brow bone. Beautiful color. And blend. Nice. Like it so far? Let's continue. Okay, we move to our crease. Now here we are with our number four brush. Another one of my favorite brushes. It's the crease brush. Number three. This is our number three crease brush. So take a look at that and take a look at that shape. Very important. And this brush and the shape of this brush will help you to put on a beautiful crease. crease. And you know, sometimes you'll notice people, they come out with like thick, thick creases, not blended, not smooth, and they look very heavy, heavy lidded. This brush will help you to put on this color nicely. Now this is Best, which is also a beautiful color light. I'm going to stay light because we're doing sort of a nice, smooth, daytime-ish look. Now, to apply the product, we're going to go right on to the edge. See that? The edge of the brush. And we're going to tap off the excess, the way we did with our other brush. And we're going to place the brush right at middle of the eye with the tip pointing downward. You see that? And you're going to use a sort of windshield washer motion back and forth, back and forth. Now you focus a little bit more on the outside part of the eye because you want a little bit greater intensity there and smoothly back into the inside part of the eye, which of course will be lighter. And what this does, I love this color, what this does is it sort of gives you a little bit, it enhances the crease and gives you that sort of deep set look. Deep set, your eyes look deep set and a little bit more drama. What do you think? Nice, eh? Pretty. Let's try the other side. Okay. Edge of the brush. Tap off the excess. And don't forget to begin again in the middle, the middle, middle, middle of your eye with the tip pointing down. Now, if you're afraid and you think that you're going to end up with too much product, start lighter. Take a little bit less product onto your brush, like I just did. You can always make it darker. Always make it darker. I'm going lightly to the inside, 
with a little bit of greater intensity on the outside for that deep set look. Wow. What do you think? Pretty nice. All right, so that's our crease. Get ready, because next we're going to start lining those eyes. Well done, girls.